that an Instapot could help fight COVID-19, but a recent study showed that Instapots can decontaminate N95 masks. In a report published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology Letters, researchers discovered that an Instapot or a similar pressure cooker, like this one, is capable of decontaminating N95 respirators without using any chemicals and it does it without ruining the filtration or affecting the fit. I'm gonna show you how it's done. But first, if you're new to Clean Freaking Germaphobe, we are all about cleaning and organizing and disinfecting. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. An N95 mask is still in short supply. So if you have one, it's important to reuse it safely for as long as you can. But you can't simply soak it in bleach or spray it with Lysol or boil it. This all damages the filtration and might alter the way the mask fits, making it less effective. In order to sanitize it properly, you need to be able to decontaminate all of the surfaces. And this baby is gonna help you do that. So the first step is to put a towel at the bottom of the pressure cooker. You don't want your mask to touch any part of the metal. This will damage the mask. Also, and this is important, don't put any water in the pressure cooker. You are using dry heat to decontaminate the mask. Moisture will damage the mask. Step two, place the mask in the pot, being sure that it is only touching the towel, and again, not the pot itself. Step three, place the lid on and set the timer for 50 minutes and then hit start. Now my pressure cooker only goes up to 30 minutes, so when the timer goes off, I'm gonna reset it for another 20 minutes. The goal is to keep the mask at 100 degrees for 50 minutes. According to this study, this will fully decontaminate the mask without damaging it. So the article that I mentioned earlier found that one cooking cycle using a pressure cooker struck the perfect balance of decontamination without damaging the mask's ability to properly filter and will not affect the mask fit or size. The article also found that you can use this process up to 20 times and the mask will still properly filter and will keep their fit. Now I'm gonna put a link to a video that demonstrates this as well as the study itself in the video description so if you want to know more about the study itself go and check it out global demands for n95 masks skyrocketed as a result of the coronavirus and many supply chains have been unable to keep up with the demands which have put healthcare workers lives in danger. this diy trick is clever and possibly an efficient fix for personal protective equipment shortages which continue to put our essential workers at risk as always with all our hacks proceed at your own risk and I would recommend keeping an eye on your pressure cooker while you're doing this. So thank you for watching this video. If you know somebody that would be interested in this method, be sure to share it with them. And of course, subscribe and hit the like button. I will link to our video on the proper way to sanitize with bleach. Click on that video and I will see you over there.